to question number five. When is the density of water one gram per milliliter? Uh, how can we measure density? So, when the temperature is four degrees Celsius, water attains its density of one gram per milliliter. So we can calculate density by using the equation where density is equal to mass over volume. So depending on the mass of the sample, so it's the ratio of the mass of the sample to the volume of the water that is displaced displaced. So for example, if you had like a brick or something and it weighs a certain amount of grams, let's say we had a brick weighing like five grams and like it displaced like one milliliter of water somehow then its density would be 5 grams per milliliter. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. The density of water at standard conditions, 1 atm pressure at room temp, is recorded to be 0 0.99777 grams per mil. So it's pretty much also just 1. But when the temperature goes lower, the molecules start to aggregate. When the temperature is equal to 4 degrees Celsius, Water attains its density of one gram per mil. Why does the why does ice have a lower density? This is because the water crystals have great space, hence not attaining the density of one gram per mil. Density of a material is computed using the equation density is equal to mass over volume. So going back to that ice question. Since they have a much greater volume, when you divide uh, mass divided by volume, ice tends to have tends to be less dense than water, liquid water. Okay, so they have density equals mass over volume. This is described as the ratio of the mass of the sample to the volume of the water displaced. If a stone with a mass of 10 grams displaced a water of volume 5 mils, its density is five divided by, 10 divided by 5, which is 2 grams per mil. Yep, so this solution is correct.